Eddie can tell me if it's the katakana. Uh, the first the one Zanzibar the, part is. The, as the rest of it is not. Yeah, because trials obviously has an actual word. And of obviously has an actual word. But well, Zanzibar, I don't think they care. Yeah, well, the Japanese don't care about Africa. <laughs> the Japanese don't care about not Japan. Uh, anyway, that's Tandem's not true. They later. care about Korea. <laughs> so, uh, is Samson's bit done? Is this really nice bit done? <laughs> Are you finished? <laughs> I'm not rushing you. I just wanted to check. <laughs> Fine. Yeah, Samson's part done. God. No, Y'all can go back and forth, man. <laughs> just say your thing. <laughs> okay. So, uh, Nim will uh, go to Kiala. Hold on. I have to have a coughing fit. Hold on. She's got the plague. She's got the plague. She's got the plague. Plague it, 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 put, it put trial as in like a, the court case of Zanzibar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> Which is really funny. <laughs> so they All right, this is a court drama now. <laughs> Who's the attorney and who the <laughs> <laughs> lawyer Kiala. AU. Now I'm just thinking of that lawyer episode of Futurama. <laughs> <laughs> Where they're doing the old TV show. Yeah. So Nim will turn to Kala and say, I'm really glad I met you too. And even if you don't come back, I hope that if you ever need our help, you come find us. I'm sure you'll be busy enough. I want to say I'm too busy, busy for you. <laughs> We're family, remember? Yeah. Bye -bye forever. Family means no one left behind. I would do a stitch voice, but I literally cannot right now. Ohana means family. Yeah. Family, family means, means to be made into a coat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, she's dead. <laughs> I'll get the cool. <laughs> Alright! Jacques's gonna play Nim now! Whoa. Oh, we're getting a new player? Cool! No, you see, if Nim dies, then you play as her younger brother. Yeah, if I know. If you die, like... your brother has to play Nim. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Get Jean in here. Jean's Get gonna Jean play Nim? Woo! Wait, no! Jean plays Jack! Jean plays Jack! <laughs> Yes! My brother has an actual agenda. No, he's not. He's a nerd. He's perfect for D&D. Yeah, but he has, like, a job. So? <laughs> he's usually not home when we play D&D. It's okay. We change our schedule around for our players. <laughs> Allow me to phrase it like this. Sometimes he's on the night shift, meaning he would get home at 8 in the morning. He's got a cell phone. So we just play at 8 a.m. Yeah. First, no, I'm not waking up that sure, early. Sure, you'll be up. No, I'll be going to bed. That is my schedule. And then you'll what? be up half an hour later. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. So Nim will go, and if you ever need help, just don't forget to ask. We'll help. Samson, give her some apples for the road. Oh, right. Um, do you know how far away you're gonna be from your village? Mm. I, I doubt he's, like, teleporting you into your house or, like, middle. Well, I had to go to the school first. It's about a day's walk. So, getting put for, to the school and then you're going back home. I believe that was the situation. You're you're good on food and supplies, right? Yeah. I can find things. It's a good time of year. There'll be things to hunt. As long as you're sure. Still give her some apples, please. 
I just imagined him with this like total like angry deadpan. Like still go for some apples, please. I'm trying to give her a present too. <laughs> I want to give her something too. Give her your thing. I want the I don't, last Oh wait, no, I don't have time. the apple. I gave you the apples. Yeah. No, you said you still had them, so I was like, okay, that's fine. I've been wrong before. No, I thought I still had the apples, but they're not in my inventory. I gave them, right, Ooh. I gave them to you back in Rosebeard's office. Okay, then Cal is gonna. Nim's gonna give Cal a 10 pounds of apples. <laughs> How many pounds did you buy? Fifty. Oh, okay. Remember, it was an entire barrel. Uh, Hiala just... puts them in her bag of holding, I guess. <laughs> You're like, so welcome. <laughs> I think that's the only thing in there, aside from, like, extra arrows. What Hiala hasn't realized is she's been talking to a Nim Club this whole time. Nim was one of the apples that she put in her bag. <laughs> I'm just imagining like the little scissor seven face appearing, but it's Nim. <laughs> She's like, <laughs> as the apples falling into the pocket dimension. Wow, I can't believe Nim is scissor seven now. <laughs> so many crossovers to draw. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh Who's God, does that make sense of our typo? <laughs> No. Nah, I don't know. He doesn't, Nim doesn't owe him a life debt. Also, I like Typo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well. Zanzibar has Typo. No. Now you just no. feel moderately average about the character. <laughs> yeah, now I hate Scissor 7 as a franchise. <laughs> oh no! I was about to say, hey, same, but, like, I'm not even at that point. How can you hate Scissor 7 as a, as a franchise when you love TOZ as a franchise? <laughs> the power of Zanzibar. <laughs> in things that Zanzibar's not supposed to be in. What does this mean? What does what mean? <laughs> this, 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 what does this mean? What does what mean? I just said it. What does it mean? Oh. <laughs> are cops or cops? <laughs> what does it mean? Why is it McDonald's? <laughs> I think this is so confusing. I hope it doesn't mean like bedroom stuff. <laughs> Firstly, why does McDonald's have cops? Second of all, what does that mean? <laughs> They're protecting the Mickey D secret formula. <laughs> Somebody replied to the post, uh, so are firefighters like power bottoms? <laughs> <laughs> no, first of all, firefighters can bench press anyone. They are clearly the tops. I'm gonna start with But the bench press has to be yeah. below the weight. Yeah, you're if you're yeah. bench pressing, you're on your back. So. Power bottom, Shay. <laughs> they are flexible on which dynamic is all I will say. <laughs> Moving on, Gala don't go, insert Gary don't go theme. I know Gala's not a snail, but it fits. Gala's not a snail? Damn. I don't know what to do with the snail Gala, Gala icon go. anymore. Gala miss you so. Our cops are tops. So what's says that, Gala's not coming back. <laughs> Hyala goes home and her, she's like, Hi, Mom. Hello, Hyala. Our cops are tops. <laughs> I'm working for Zanzibar now. Glad I discovered my true calling in life. Well, guess my daughter's broken. No, just, just Hyala's mother. <laughs> <laughs> Takes Kuno with her. You'll be much safer here. Cops are tops! <laughs> Drops. <laughs> top. Top. Okay. <laughs> so what? All right. Now? Anyways, did Zanzibar actually just go lie down in bed? Yeah. 
Like, all right, you guys are just gonna be sappy, so I'm just gonna wait until everyone calls on me. Well, he didn't think that he needed to be hanging over top of you guys. Well, he did what... Well, you were going to do what he was assuming would be a... I said that you guys! <laughs> ah, yes, because this group is known for crying. <laughs> yep, all of us. The one who's known for crying isn't currently crying. He, yeah. <laughs> he's come to terms with it. We had time. Yeah. If, if you haven't noticed, if you give Samson time, he can come to terms with anything. Mm. Except I work for Zanzibar. Alright, I'm over it. <laughs> Zanzibar broke reality. Alright, I'm over it. It was just upset he messed up her painting. Which she could have finished when the light She came. did finish. Okay. But it's kind of hard to finish when you're colorblind and blending. Well, I, I still have. I'm still trying to figure out uh, how you. Uh, anyway. I feel like there's an awkward air because we've like said our goodbyes and now we have to go along. <laughs> yeah, yeah, see, the issue is Yala has no Zanzibar to turn to and be like, okay, let's go. <laughs> we all just like. Yala sends the stairs and disappears. Someone's gonna have to go get Zanzibar or scream out for him or something. <laughs> uh, so, who gets the old man? <laughs> I'll just go. You can stay down here. All right. Chilla, pause a moment, and then give Nim a hug. He gives her a hug back. <laughs> and she uh, looks at Samson, offers him her hand to shake. <laughs> Hand. Oh, shakes it. <laughs> and shakes it. Oh, do him. His hands are kind of clammy. Dirty. <laughs> Nim is a child. What are you talking thing. about? No Nim one was talking thing. about Business Nim. Accomplice. <laughs> Business accomplice. <laughs> yeah. Nim deserves special treatment. <laughs> Like, cause Nim and Kiala have a more like physical, touchy feely relationship now. When it started out with "you touched me and asked me to dance," I'll kill you. Yeah. Yeah, because at the time, a Kiala didn't like Nim, mm -hmm. <laughs> and b Nim just kind of grabbed her. Yeah, Nim doesn't know boundaries. Still doesn't. Still does it. Has no concept of why it's okay now, it wasn't before. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's okay now because Kiala realized Nim's not an ass, she's just pathetic. <laughs> she's not a threat. Yeah. She she's not pathetic. on purpose. <laughs> Sometimes fireballs just come out of the sky and attack her specifically. Yeah, she'll just, uh, start walking off. <laughs> Zanzibar is just laying in the bed. So we got our- we got our grand sequel to- to- to the not wanting to be near Nim, and giving them a hug, and now we're gonna get to the thrilling conclusion to then leave. She's gonna go- <laughs> she's gonna walk in the room and look at Sansa and be like, Why did you leave? <laughs> it really awkward in there. Because I 
figured you didn't want me hanging around? Also, emotions are kind of icky, and you guys are, like, doing too much of it in my house. <laughs> or unless somewhere along the way you stopped hating my existence. Which, I will not lie, that would be very odd. <laughs> After seeing Samson learn a language in about five hours, I think I'd seen everything. I just figured we wanted to make this more efficient. I mean, of course I'd like to make everything as efficient as possible, but that's not going to make it easier on any of you. And, well, sure, yeah, you're leaving, or might not be coming back, I guess I should say, but I still need those two to be cooperative, and even though one gets incredibly on my nerves sometimes... Get over it is what I want to shout. <laughs> I still should try and accommodate what they want. Or would you just prefer I be completely selfish and abuse them at every turn? You're hard to talk to. I don't care when I'm not here. <laughs> I just let it out of mine, man. Fiala <laughs> <laughs> puts on sunglasses and shoots at the finger guns. <laughs> No, she puts on her uh, snow blindness glasses. Yeah. Oh yes, of course. Let's go, bitches. <laughs> but yeah, she's a, uh, she's she's not even really going to grace that with a response. You got everything. She uh, checks all her bags and weapons and everything else. Wait, <laughs> our um, uh. Quinn and Jeanry, were they still with her? Or are they vibing with elsewhere? I don't know. <laughs> it, those two are you guys' responsibility of keeping track of. I guess she'll, uh... She'll, like, pull them out of her little pouch. <laughs> because I think it's funny. Do you think I should leave these here? And she looks down at them and tickles their bellies. Mm -hmm. I miss you two the most. <laughs> you two were my favorite duo. And we'll forget about them. Please take them with you. I mean, if you leave them here, I benefit by getting two more sand golems to run around and get stuff for me. I already got so one. Like, I guess it's up to them. The... The... The golems. <laughs> it, it is in fact up to you. <laughs> She's gonna roll them like dice to decide if she <laughs> should keep them. Alright, you do- you roll the D infinite because they're round. <laughs> she paints little numbers on each <laughs> No. Uh, are they like, awake and moving, or...? Yes. I guess I'll take them along. They could come in handy. You know, obviously make sure to keep them dry. Otherwise, they're just going to suffer an internal painful existence of not being able to ambulate themselves. I see. So, uh, put them back. Unless Katma got a lot more sandy since the last since I remember. So, you have everything? I believe so. Except right. the way to live. Where exactly am I supposed to leave you off? You were sending me to... to Palos, yes? 
Yes. I imagine he'd be in his office at this time of day. To be fair, I probably shouldn't show up in the middle of this man's office. And only to just blink out of existence. Not do it, fam. It would be hilarious. As funny as it would be. I mean, it would let him know what he's getting himself into. <laughs> Wait, Cal's gonna be like, can you not just send me? I mean, no. I can teleport myself. I can teleport what I'm holding on to. I can't just look at you and be like, send you somewhere. I, th I thought that was what happened when he uh, sent us into like, when he was sending us back away from his tower. What do you mean? Back to the, the port. I don't remember him coming with us. I remember us falling out of the sky and then Samson exploding. Oh, to the cult town. And then to oh, the port. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He opened a dimension door. That is true. That is something he could do. <laughs> so, did he still say no now, or...? Well, he's not thinking about it. He's only thinking about teleportation itself. Hmm. You could bring it up. I, I... I don't know if she would, if he's sounds sure that it's not. Kella not questioning Zanzibar? She's tired. You get- you just napped all day. And then learned. <laughs> she napped for part of the day. It was like two hours worth of nap and five of class. But Kella gets to be right. Against Zanzibar. <laughs> She'll uh... She'll open her mouth like she's thinking about it, and then just decide against it, and she's like, Very well, if we need to go farther out, just anywhere in the vicinity of the school is fine. The second floor bathroom. <laughs> Is there anywhere you could think in particular that'd be nice and quiet and no one's gonna see me? I mean, it's likely starting to get cold outside. I don't imagine many are going to be out just wandering around. It's Katma. It's cold 24-7. It doesn't mean it's always the same level of cold. That's it's fur. Fur. He kind of nods his head side to side. That's fair. I suppose a fluctuation of three degrees in either direction does constitute a change in weather. My point is I don't think you being seen should be too much of an issue. And if you are, people will most likely just assume they're seeing things because of the snow. Fair point, but I'd rather be careful than just assume. It's not exactly like I'm famous. The word would be infamous. Have you also considered that it's very believable for it to be a mirage since they don't believe in magic? And Gala's clan, depending on where you drop her off. Are you talking to me or yeah, Zanzibar? Yeah, but this is Above game, because Nim's not there. I mean, yeah, I know. Zanzibar is a very cautious person. He doesn't take risks like that unless he's absolutely sure. Which, it, <clears throat> if he's absolutely sure, it's not a risk. It's not out of character. It, it, it's him being him. Remembering he could just teleport her would be in fine. <laughs> just remember, forehead. <laughs> Did 
Sorry, I have to deal with something. No, you're fine. That's why I'm being quiet. So if you all want to continue memeing, continue memeing. Just remember your wife, forehead. <sighs> I hate my school so much. Boy! He can't hear me, I think. <laughs> What's he gonna what do? What did you say? Samson, do you think she's gonna come back? I don't know. I genuinely couldn't imagine. I like that. But I think I've come to terms if it doesn't seem to be the case. She comes back too. Do you like my gift? Yeah, it's really nice. Also, when did you take those diamonds out of my bag? Oh, you know. Immediately. Check out this devious lick. <laughs> Why'd you take them out? What did you need them for? Oh, yes. um. What did yes, you need them honestly. for? Honestly. <laughs> <laughs> she says, holding the thing. <laughs> Honestly, this... Uh, it... Didn't feel right to just... Move past what happened. So, uh... Wanted something to commemorate it. It would've never struck you as a sentimental type. <laughs> yeah, you know, a lot of people don't. What other kind of sentimental stuff do you have on you? Samson's gonna take his goggles off of his neck. His goggles, his hat. And then his hat his off of his neck. <laughs> Samson just gets undressed. <laughs> yeah. Samson literally just strips down to his undergarments and then strips those off too. <laughs> no, put your pants there are no the sentiments in my underwear. <laughs> Why would there be? That we know of. There can't be any sentiments in his underwear. He's an ultra Sigma virgin. Sigma grind set. Oh. You never noticed that, um, title of that conversation part, right? Uh. Yeah, part three of last session was the part that contained Hyala teaching Samson how to well, how babies are made. Uh huh. And I just named it Sigma Ultimate Supreme Virgin, which, if you treat it as an acronym, just breaks down to Susme. Which, if you say it fast. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah Simpson's a sussy boy do you have 
you have any other sentimental effects? Oh, well, I got my goggles. And my hat. And I'm still holding on to this. And he's gonna point to the, uh, the, the bag of holding he borrowed from you at first that you, um, uh, put, that you stitched the pattern into. He has Nim's name at the bottom. Yeah. Um. That's really all I could take with me without being held down by much. That makes oh, sense. Oh, and I still have these, and he's gonna pull out a deck of cards. What games can you play? Oh, well, Zanzibar taught me some games when we were back on the boat. What games? Oh. Uh, well, this one's called Poker. <laughs> and then Samson will explain the rules of poker. So, are we gonna play or what? Sure. Let's play poker. <laughs> I take it everyone else is busy, so we're having a weird poker intermission. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm finished with what I need to do, I think. Oh, okay, then please, by all means, take the stage while we do <laughs> your things in the background. <laughs> what was the last thing that was said? Uh, debating on how to teleport. Oh yeah, he wants y'all to pick a specific location. Uh, where are you going to fast travel to? Yeah, you cannot fast travel where we there. won't be seen. And it's one of those things where Hyal is like, it's too many places for me to specify a place. <laughs> She'll think a minute and be like, did, did her school have a dormitory for the top student? Uh. Probably? I assume she had a room. Does she have a roommate? Uh, I doubt it because that would be really unfortunate. <laughs> then... You have a place. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she was kind of expecting to be dumped outside. That's why her immediate mindset was like, just outside of the gate. Immediate grind set. Mm. But yeah, she'll be like... I suppose we could go to the room I had. The Samson in my head <laughs> told me so. <laughs> that... That could work. Well, come on, let's go. Alright. Wait, he just starts walking down the stairs? Yep. <laughs> Wait, oh, hi, what? Zanzibar. Hi. Where are you oh, going you now? Yala <laughs> oh, hi, Yala. <laughs> she just kind of, like, waves. As Samson's holding, like, his hat in one hand and his goggles <laughs> and, like, a pair of- a set of playing cards and the medallion. Zanzibar opens up the door and starts walking out. I'm, uh, um, <laughs> bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs> Don't be gone long, or see you soon. She's gonna, uh, pause at the doorway. And then, um... Hold on, let's see. Alright. Uh... Just gonna pause at the doorway, uh, sprint back and grab you both and squeeze you very tight. Aww. And then let go and run away again. <laughs> Wait, before you go. And then 
I assume she's too god for that first. <laughs> Possible, yes. Runs out the door and slams it behind her. I don't think she slams the door behind her, but she's just like... She doesn't know where Zanzibar is going. <laughs> she's like, I can't get too far behind. Where is it? <laughs> uh, down the stairs. Okay. Yeah, she's chasing after now. <laughs> Going down the stairs, and the wibbly wobbly stuff happens. Where's Shala going? Uh, wherever the crap Zanzibar went. Alright. And the bar is rounding the tower. <laughs> and you burst out of the door out front. You just look around for where Zanzibar is and you see him rounding the corner of the tower. Why do I keep your tokens on the map when you guys just easily remake them? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize we had to be this far out to do this stuff. I mean, I don't like teleporting people in and out of my tower. Believe it or not, because the whole thing's made out of Eve, it does make that process much more difficult. And every single person additional to me makes it exponential. In emergencies, yes, I'd rather go in there. I know that place like the back of my hand. I know that place like I know myself. I only spent a couple billion years inside of it. A couple <laughs> million years inside of it. So yeah, it makes it a Yeah, because knows so much about himself. Yeah, how's well, that wife doing? Tell us. Yo, bitches! <laughs> <laughs> <Above> board. <laughs> <laughs> so, in a heated situation and spring of the moment, makes the perfect spot to teleport to. Very well. And then he just squints his eyes for a second, he's like, Wait a minute. I've got a much easier solution that will be less outful than me snapping you this halfway across the northern quarter. And he just oh. takes a finger, draws a circle in the air, and it just leaves a bit of a magical trail. Draws a line down the middle. <laughs> Pokes his finger in the center and turns it like a key, and a dimension door opens up in Yala's room. Whoa. Dimension door. door. Average spell cast it in an average way. No one's going to necessarily know I did it. Which is great. It means less gods chasing after you. Possibly. I that's a plus. Yes. We'll ignore the possibly. <laughs> yes, we will. It'd be so funny if Kiala just goes, and Zanzibar? What? Your face is stupid and then just leaves. <laughs> and Zanzibar, look look at me, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> As the door closes. <laughs> She's sitting in her room. I'm still connected to your brain! <laughs> <laughs> bitch. <laughs> Zap! <laughs> the dimension door opens up. Wow. Kella closes it. <laughs> Yeet. Do -do 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 -do. And Kella's in her room. And we will explore that. <laughs> uh, next 
session! <laughs> Zanzibar walks back. Also, Goes back in. Uh, uh, just, also. A, just a reminder that I, I know I know Samson was about to teach Nim poker, but remember there's something else that Samson has to teach Nim. <laughs> Alright, Nim, so when you have a <laughs> hand like this, where it has all of the. Uh... The door swings open. I'm back! She's not! <clears throat> well, yeah, Do you want to move the map too? Oh! So many things to do, so little time. So, Nim, when you have a hand like this, where you have all of the face cards and all of, like, the really good cards. I'm back! She's not! <laughs> You have you have to do this gesture, and he's gonna hold up both little fingers. <laughs> <laughs> but I thought you don't want to reveal your hand. You don't trust me. It can mean anything. <clears throat> but that's mean? something that you want to show them. It just as like a flex, and it could be anything. Okay. <laughs> no. Old Varician greeting. Alright. Sansabar just stands behind Samson rubbing his hands together. Ow! What was that for? Oh, Zanzibar, you're back. Yes, I am. Stop teaching her dumb things. <laughs> We're just learning poker. <laughs> <laughs> He's an awful liar. He's trying to ruin you as a human being. And if you ruin human... my protege, the next time I hit you will be the backhand with this ring. I am far from any consideration of ruining them. Yeah, out of the two Ow. of you. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of... So, who's ready to do more exciting, fun things? We got a lot to do, even though we're minus one. Does any of that involve a nap? Ooh, I could also go for a bath. Do you have any rose petals? <laughs> Possibly. Come on, let's go. Follow me, kids. Yay, field trip. <laughs> Neither of us move. <laughs> and Zanzibar opens the door and back down the stairs. Lots of stairs today. You're getting your steps in. This is all because Nim doesn't run. We don't have a Kiala to carry us up and down stairs. <laughs> so sad, so tragic. Ah! Oh, <laughs> Samson and Samson with Samson's hat. I wish you could have done Whoa, a Samson. there's an imposter. He that was my hat, though. I love that there were two of them, but they were different icons. He walks back around to the back of the tower again. Hey, Joel. What? Oh, uh, that, 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 that's the name I gave the golem. I've just been calling him Mr. Golem. Joel Golem. Joel Golem. <laughs> Y'all are awful. Did you have a better name then? <laughs> yeah, you didn't even name Panak yourself. <laughs> So you anyway, stole all your nails, that's your excuse. He stops when you're behind him, lifts up his foot, stamps the- I'm on the wrong layer! Oops. I hate everything. Don't hate everything. Some things are made of chocolate. Okay, I- I hate them. everything except the chocolate. Oh man, I was gonna drink soda, wasn't I? Yeah. 
Well, it's kind of late for that now. He lifts his foot up, stamps it into the ground, and makes a big, hard sandstone rectangle again. Samson will get on there and start just doing some basic stretches. What are you doing? I'm kidding. No one knows what that is. Come on! Up you go! And as he points to directs Nim on. Good, good. He walks over to the golem. You see him snap his fingers, and a pair of glasses sit in his hand. Bend down. The golem so does so. Quick question, Rooney. It seems like we're fighting this thing again. We've had a long rest, correct? All of us. Well, you were doing active stuff while Kella was sleeping? Was, was not, so. right? Yes? Yeah, uh, there hasn't been time for a long rest, right? Uh, not unless we actively long rested while Kella was long resting. Mm. Nim did not. And, like, we haven't really done much. Nim was doing magic stuff. Nim okay, you, I haven't done much. Okay, Samson gets a long rest then? Is that what I'm hearing, Timekeeper? I think I mean, so. If that, if, yeah, I mean, Samson hasn't really... Wait, no, you, you were actively training with a sword. I was she dancing, is... I was performing with a sword. That's still, That's like, a physical activity. activity. She is but, right. Yeah, but it's, it's a light activity. It's like jazzercise, you're not actually exercising. <laughs> it's like jazzercise. <laughs> I don't know. Jazzercise. <laughs> I mean, like, if it was something with acrobatics or, like, athletics, but it was performance. And no one takes the art If I roll performance like... with my harmonica for an hour. <laughs> mm, I don't know. You know what? I see a decent argument for both. So, I think we coin should take flip, out. Coin flip, coin flip, coin flip. No. The no, acrob- Most the coins have a 50-50 chance. <laughs> <laughs> this coin is like an electron. It has a 50-50 chance, but when we observe it, it changes the outcome to what we don't want. Uh, yeah. I actually think it's really good. Oh, uh, so yeah. The golem bends down. Ow. Give me a second. And Samson's going to put on his plus two armor. And Zanzibar presses the glasses right up against the core. You know, just above it. The core is bigger than the glasses. I'm also going to catch ma cast mage armor, so like... Alright, uh, one more thing, and then he's gonna fill his- he's gonna reload all his guns with the regular ammo again. Didn't we just write this thing today? Yeah. Why do we gotta do it again? Just Man, him. Kel's gonna be pissed if she hears about this. <laughs> <laughs> She's like- I'm staying because I don't want them to have to, like, fight something big and dangerous alone, and she leaves, and Zanzibar's immediately like, Alright, go fight something big and dangerous alone! She had to go talk to her family! <laughs> yeah, but which she was going to put off specifically because of this! And you did help them fight something big and dangerous! Also, what was the, uh, the, uh, magic thing to, like, impose Nim's will on the thing? Like, what was the cutoff for that? I don't the remember. Golem. I, I don't 400. remember. I genuinely don't remember. I rolled, like, a 26, and you were like, no. <laughs> I'm like, what? Yeah, I don't remember. Uh, I mean, 
You didn't give a DC. That we were told. Yeah. Well, by his own words, when he doesn't give us the DC, it is a 10. Well, th that's the thing. If I forget to give the DC, I was about to say it, and then Shay rolled before I gave the DC. You can still specify what it is, my guy. Yeah. You're the but only DM don't know. I know who gives the DC before anything rolls. True. But I have said I like to give the DC before the roll comes out. Just because it's more fair that way. That way you already know the number. Yeah, like you gave Samson the DC 30. Yeah. Uh... Gonna say? Oh, yeah. So, yeah, roll for initiative as he's setting these goggles, these glasses on the goal. Oh, shit. Man, I guess Nim's not having a good time because that's the only time Nim rolls well. I mean, makes sense with what's happened. Nah. <laughs> Not that it makes much of a difference. I feel like you didn't roll the nat one at first. Huh? At least you didn't roll the nat one at first. Well, that's true. Where's the goal? It's like... Right here. No, I mean, uh, I needed the character sheet so I could roll for the initiative. Remember how you were, like, just talking about if Nick's low on magic? <laughs> yeah. Nim used the level 4 spell slot to give them things. It was worth it. It's still worth it. I don't think it was. <laughs> I do, for a couple reasons. Is but it bad if I hope this goes bad? Oh, yeah, no. Oh, well. your point, uh, Nim can cast a total of seven spells, so if we don't kill this in seven, we just don't I'm using cantrips at that point. I mean, yeah. you're decent level. Great. Cantrips let's, do a good amount. Uh, let, let's see how far you can get with 17 minutes. Uh, Great. Choose your starting position within the thing. Do you yeah, need me to stick by you, Nim? Yes, please. <laughs> I'm hiding behind you. That is the plan. Uh, I mean, that's not gonna do much. It's better. Speak Terran, by the way. It's all to find out. Is it saying anything, Lord L? Uh, let me check the speed. No! It does not speak Terran. Dang. <clears throat> About to tell the GTFO. <laughs> so, you two ready? Ready as we'll ever be. Nim! You're up first. Go! Shay? I'm just asking for clarification. Have we had the time to do, like, a short rest? Because Nim's been not doing much since, like, the Terran lesson. And... I mean, you've been rolling and casting things 
pretty much throughout, so I'm gonna say no, no because I don't wanna after that. What are you what are you talking about? After what? Like after the Terran lesson, like Nim kinda stopped casting spells after that point. How you long? You were giving that people been? D4s. And no, I'm saying after that point. How much time passed? I just need to know for a specific thing. It has not been enough time for a short rest. It hasn't even been a half hour, I don't think. I have no concept of time, but I was just double-checking. I mean, it technically had been since our last D4. I don't know. If we split the hairs on it, we will be sitting here discussing it for the next 15 minutes. <laughs> Perfect. Then we'll have an answer <laughs> by Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna just hit it with chromatic orb at fourth level, because I can. Okay. Sands of our, are you gonna be eating it this time too? We'll see how badly you get creamed. Hm. Just my luck, huh? Does War 22 hit? War and battles are not fair! I am also gonna reroll. <laughs> I like how they're debating and Nim's just like, so anyways, I started blasting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I'm also gonna reroll. Uh, 22 does hit. Alright, I'm also gonna reroll that 2 and 3. That's worse. Yeah. <laughs> well, you gotta take it. I know, I'm aware. So what's the number? 25. Yeah. Uh, also, it's cold, so speed is reduced by two. Uh, ten. Let me check. I don't know about that. No, it's because of uh, cryo stuff. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah. I I think I said that last time too. <laughs> so twenty five damage and a speed reduction of ten feet. Oh, also, we're fine. Woo, um, we're fine. Accidentally fireballed again. That would be hilarious, honestly. No, save it, it for when so he's good. nearby and I'm. Well, I could be there again. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you don't care. <laughs> it just All doesn't right. hit you. It's like, ah, uh, no, I can't hit the rope. Anything else you can do, Shay, uh, Nim, Shay, whoever you are? Hey. Um, I'm just doing one last quick check. The answer is no. I have no other bonus things. I don't think squirting it with water is a good idea. I mean, you've seen that they don't like water. I meant with a decanter. It's a string saving throw. That end? What's the worst that can happen? It passes? Yeah, sure. Um, make me a strength saving throw real quick, fam. Which would just be a strength throw, right? Uh, yeah. I guess, because it doesn't really have saving throws. Yeah. Thanks, advantage. Yeah, no, it passes. Nothing happens. <laughs> I mean, with a nat 20, yeah, damn right, it passes. I could have a spell DC higher than nat 20. Uh, you can't. Zanzibar could. Yeah, you That's you not can. necessarily true. Nim that could. That is mechanically matter. true. A nat yeah. 20. On attack rolls. Always succeed. Even yeah. if your spell DC is higher than that? Yes. No. <laughs> okay, okay, by the rule, no. By T-O-Z, mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't know, but we don't have the time to debate that. So, yeah, no, that's how it. Do? Nim's turn is over? Yeah. 
Alright. Um. <clears throat> You'll see it jet over to both of you. And instead of throwing punches or kicks, you see it just start spinning around. And DC 15 deck saving throw. Okay. That's not concerning. Hold on a sec. <laughs> Where's the stupid thing? Can you? You said in battle, I could. Did I? Yeah, I said. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it is in the general. It is in general rules that it needs a big fat asterisk because I don't think uh, Shay actually put the thing in properly. You said if it wasn't, you'd tell me. So. Alright. We're using a lot of not nouns and descriptive words. Why is there a guy reaching yes. into his pants for a giant pink door? That was the end of the. Yeah. Dimension door. Okay. Where is it in and, general campaign? Uh, it is, um, back on January 3rd, Nin can then lock on things all the time. Until you say I can't. Like, un you, you said you'd specify when there was a time where you wouldn't allow it. Show me the description for Ben Lock. Only because it's really powerful if you basically just have fucking legendary resistance. It's not resistance, it's, it's just not a chance to not I, I know, but it would be functionally legendary resistance if you can just decide to alter her fucking saving throws That's to succeed. That's the whole instead. point of like a wild magic throw. Yeah, because you can kill yourself. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. You, your whole thing is I control the gamba. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes. <laughs> I can try to gamba only if I can have it be completely out of my control every I so I only control the gamba later on in life. I control the gamba <laughs> when magic is involved. Oh yeah, no, you could- I thought you were going to give yourself advantage. No. Right. You can roll the d4. Yeah, I thought you were talking about, like, giving yourself advantage to give you the 20. That would be fucking busted. You, she can it, also do that. And No, because I used it earlier. I don't have All right. Don't, don't you have to don't just can't wild, you use it again if you roll your uh, wild magic, though? Um, th That's at the DM's discretion. Yeah. And Lordo never uses that, so. Oh, yeah. So 12 to 14 still fails. Yeah, it does. All right, go for it. Well, would it be this turn or your next turn? At the start of each of its turns. So that would be Nim's next turn. Okay. So it'll roll the damage, and then you can roll the save to get out of it. So... It's, what, like a tornado right now? Well, it spun around and tried to create cyclones around both of you. So Nim's grappled by a cyclone. Oh, I thought it, it turned itself into an AoE. That'd be awesome. awesome. <laughs> I thought it I, I just did not festival! <laughs> I thought a Tasmanian deviled us. Tasmanian like, deviled you. It sand attacked yeah. you. 
Uh, but yeah, no, Nim's grapple. Grapple condition on token. Or whatever. Which one looks like Colossus, like, down? And then it's Samson's turn while she does that. Alright. Uh, Samson J. Merrymaker. Is hmm. going to huh. give it a gun. This thing is can wait, is it considered large size? Uh, it's a large. uh yes. Is it like okay. super extra large? Yeah, I remember it being large size. So I guess the token just has to be bigger. Yeah, that's right. Uh, it shrunk down because it was defeated. It should be that big. Yeah, I just wanted to re uh, remember. Uh, okay. There we go. Sorry. No, you're fine. I lost track of which tab is POZ. Fair. Control uh, Control F T O Z. Tidy. Yeah, that doesn't work. Hmm. Um. I'm going to have. Samson hmm. I'm going to have Samson attack him with the grapple whip Damn it Yeah, that does not hit That was Oh man I thought it was a really good idea. What? Uh, you gotta snap the whip, and he moves his leg out of the way, and he hits the sand. Uh, what else? And then he's going to toss a vial of acid at it. Remember correctly. Um. Um. So, that's just going to be a regular dexterity thing. That's a twenty three hit. Uh, yes. All right, and so that will be five damage of acid. Five damage of acid. And that'll be his turn. All right. 
we come back to Nim, but it's 10 o'clock and Jade's gotta be up for school tomorrow, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, school to start for you. So, do you wanna just roll the damage? And then... I already put the damage in. For what? Oh! You're talking about the damage for Shay's thing? For Nim. Yeah, because she started at the start of her turn. Yeah, um... Eleven! Oh, cool. How live is sh how live is Nim? Actually, fine. I still have temp HP, so Woo. I am at forty nine because I only actually took one damage. Wow! Even from the damage I took last time, I have more health than you. <laughs> Fifty is my max, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. 60 health was the most I've ever had this whole game. <laughs> Samson throws pockets in. Shit. <laughs> That'd be really funny. Anyway, yeah. It's time to end the session. Goodbye, everybody. Johnny. Goodbye.